I am Dr. Sandeep Daswas, one of the clinics consultant gynecologist practice in community. I'll be talking about obesity and its implications in terms of not only infertility, fertility, but as such for the women's reproductive outcome. So it was begin with any teens in their obese, if they are obese. Now what is obesity? We measure obesity according to something called BMI. It is calculated by your weight and your height. And the criteria is that if the BMI is more than 25, then you are overweight. If more than 30, you are obese. And if it's more than 40, you are morbidly obese. Now all these terms have got implications in terms of reproductive outcome. Obese women ovulate less, that means they produce eggs from the ovaries less often and that leads to a number of disease processes including polycystic ovarian syndrome which is a burning thing in today's world due to the change in lifestyle and other factors acting as comorbidities with it. Now once you are pregnant then obesity has its own implications not only on the mother and the baby as well. In terms of the mother if we think gradually once you are pregnant the, the chances of having a miscarriage is very high. The chances of developing diabetes in pregnancy, what we call gestational diabetes, is quite high and the chance of developing hypertension, that is raised blood pressure in pregnancy is also high. Apart from that, you might have a big baby, what is called a macrosomic baby, when the baby's weight is more than 3.5 kg and subtypes around 4 kg, that decreases your chances of having a normal birth process in terms of normal labor and delivery and it has got rather more chances of having an elective cesarean section. Also, diabetes in pregnancy is a burning issue in Southeast Asia because the prevalence of diabetes is increasing day by day and one of the factors which is giving rise to this is obesity. So any women's woman who becomes pregnant should be screened for diabetes. Once you are screened for diabetes and if you are found to have gestational diabetes then either your diet control or insulin are the answers to it. Because if that increases other factors which can implicate your pregnancy like you might have a preterm baby, chance of having rupture in your membranes early and going into labor preterm or del uh, delivery early. So, Screening for diabetes is very important if you are obese, that means if your BMI is more than 30, then you should be screened for diabetes. Hypertension. Now measuring a blood pressure in an obese woman is different from somebody who is not obese because we need a cuff which is extra large. That means a cuff appropriate for the size of that woman to measure the blood pressure or the estimation of blood pressure will be wrong and hypertension in pregnancy has its own implications in terms of having a small baby, in terms of having fits in pregnancy and even after birth. Apart from that, one of the phenomena which is not very common, say 2 to 3 per 10,000 it happens, is called developing clots in the legs or lungs, which is called deep vein thrombosis. The chances are very high for obese women and that is why any pain in the legs in an obese woman should be screened for a deep vein thrombosis and prophylaxis is given. So we should keep this in mind as well. Now post delivery, once you are delivered, that may be a cesarean section or a normal delivery, prophylaxis to prevent this deep vein thrombosis should be given with shots of injections because the chances of having this deep vein thrombosis is very high at that point of time. As I told you, it's not a common thing to happen. It is two to three per 10,000 pregnancies. But if it happens, it has it is very, very dangerous because one can lose a life also. Apart from this, the chances of bleeding post-pregnancy, what we call postpartum hemorrhage, is very high among obese women. The reason being, big baby, big size uterus, the chance of bleeding is high. And also, the obesity itself causes postpartum hemorrhage. Now talking about labor and delivery for an obese woman. The chances of delivering a normal delivery, uh, by normal delivery I mean, is somehow curtailed in obese women because 
the chances of having something called shoulder dystocia that means once the baby's head is delivered the shoulder getting stuck is very high for babies whose birth base is around 3.5 to 4.5 kg so these are the implications of obesity in pregnancy and delivery apart from that as i told you about in the beginning about polycystic ovary syndrome that can lead to infertility so losing your weight before you break and become pregnant is the answer to way forward for a perfect pregnancy with a healthy mother and a healthy baby thank you